Okay, now let's talk about the OSPF configuration. As a network administrator, how to configure the OSPF routing protocol? Okay, so these are some basic OSPF configuration commands. You need to know how to create and run an OSPF process. So you need in system view to construct a new OSPF process using this command. And you can also designate its router ID. After you construct this OFPF process, you can go into this OFPF view to create the area because we may need multiple areas in the OSPF. So using this command, and then you can go into the area view and then specify the interface that runs OSPF. So you can use the network to specify the interface. And this command can be followed with the address and also the mask. But here, pay attention to this wildcard mask. Actually, this is a reverse mask of the IP address. So for example, if the network mask of 255, 255, 2550, then here in this command, the wildcard mask should be the reverse. So it should be 000, 0255. This is in opposite with the network mask. Also, you need to know how to set up an interface cost, right? So when you go into the interface view, you can use this OSPF cost command to set the cost. Then they can calculate by the default parameter. But if you want to change the default parameter, then you can go into the OSPF view to set the bandwidth reference value. This is the uh, reference value and by default, it is set to be 100 megabps, but you can change it into uh, any number in megabps. Also, you can set the priority of an interface for the uh, designated router selection because we need to select a designated router. But how can we select that? Actually, we'll select according to the priority. So for each interface, we can set a priority to the interface. And by comparing the priority, we can find the designated router. Actually, the larger value indicates a higher priority. So a larger value priority can make this interface to be selected with more possibility 